we are going to see the blessings of the gospel. I'm going to share with you a truth that I learned from the scripture. I believe as you hear this, you will be blessed. If you have your Bibles with you, turn with me to the book of Romans chapter 15 verse number 29. In this particular word, Apostle Paul says, When I come to you, I will come with the full blessings of the gospel. Let me explain to you what is gospel. In short, gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus is God. He came in the form of man. He lived a holy life, set an example how a man should live in this earth. He died on the cross for the sins of this world. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. And he is still alive. When a person hears this gospel or when a person hears this message and accepts Jesus into his heart, he receives many blessings in his life. Few days ago, I was talking to few people. I asked them, when you accepted Jesus, when you received Jesus into your heart, when you begin to follow Jesus, what blessings have you received? You know, they said I got new hope, I got new joy, my character got changed, I become a new person, I become a new creation, so and so. None of them said I got a bungalow or I got money, I got gold or silver, any material things of this world. So, when a person hears the gospel and accepts Jesus into his heart and when he begins to follow Christ, he receives many blessings. I'm going to put before you three blessings. Three blessings you and I must receive as a Christian when we hear the gospel. Number one, assurance of salvation. Gospel gives us the assurance of salvation. What is assurance of salvation? Having an assurance in our heart that when you depart from this world at any time, we will be with the Lord in heaven. Let me tell you, if we don't have this assurance, even after accepting Christ, even after following Jesus for so many years, if we don't have this assurance in our heart, we have not received the full blessings of the gospel. So number one, when we hear the gospel and accept Jesus into our heart, it gives us the assurance of salvation that when we depart from this world, we will be with the Lord in heaven. Romans chapter 1 verse number 16 says, Gospel is the power of God for salvation. John chapter 5 verse number 24 says, He who believes will have eternal life. And also in Luke chapter 23, we see Jesus, while he was on the cross, he was having conversation with a thief who was crucified with Christ. A thief who was crucified with Christ, he put his faith in Jesus. He believed in Jesus. There Jesus gives the assurance to that thief, Today you will be with me in paradise. This is the blessing a man can have when he hears the gospel and accepts Jesus into his heart. Let me tell you, nothing else can give you this assurance. Not of your, none of your good works or traditions, following traditions or rituals or good works, nothing else can give you this assurance. I ask people, when I share gospel with people, I ask them, if you have to depart, if you had to depart from this world today, do you have the assurance that you will be with the Lord in heaven? Many of their answers are like, I do not know. Only God knows. Some says, if I do good, I will be in heaven. Many are not sure about their salvation. They do not know when they depart from this world, where they will be. But we as a Christian or we who believes in Christ, we get assurance 
that if we depart from this world today, we will be with the Lord in heaven. If we don't have this assurance in our heart, we have not received the full blessings of the gospel. Let's look into the second blessing. Internal transformation. Gospel transforms our inner man. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse number 17 very clearly says if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation old is passed away so when we trust in Christ when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior we are in Christ so when we come in Christ we must become a new creation which means when we accept Jesus when we begin to follow Jesus, we must become a new creation. Our old self must die. If our old self is not died, even after accepting Christ, I want to tell you that you, you and I have not received the full blessings of the gospel. I want to bring few examples from the Bible whose life been completely transformed when they accepted Jesus into their life. Let's look into the life of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He used to deceive people and he used to he earned a lot of money and a lot of wealth by deceiving others. There was a time when Jesus visited his house and he received Jesus into his heart. We know what transformation took place in his life. He said, Lord, whatever I have earned, whatever I have owned, by deceiving others, I'm going to give it back. And I have a lot of wealth. I'm going to give this wealth to the poor. And I will not deceive anybody anymore. We see a transformation in the life of Zacchaeus when he met with Jesus. When he received Jesus into his heart. A man who deceived others. Now he is no more a deceiver. But whatever he earned by deceiving others... He is willing to give up for the poor and needy. What a transformation. Let's look into the life of Saul. Saul was a man who used to persecute the church. He was on the way to Damascus to persecute the church and to put the believers in prison and to kill the people, kill the believers. While he was on the way, he got an encounter with Jesus. You know, in that encounter, Jesus spoke to him and he asked to Jesus, you know, the question that he asked, I liked it very much. He asked, what shall I do, Lord? He was persecuting the church, going by his own desire, going by guidance of the enemies of the church. Now this man is standing before God and asking God, Lord, you tell me, you guide me. What shall I do? What should I do? What a transformation we see in the life of Saul. This is what happens when a man accepts Jesus into his heart. Such like this, I can give plenty of examples from the Bible. So, let me tell you, when you accepted Jesus and when you began to follow Jesus, if you have not received this blessing, which is, you know, if your inner man is not transformed into new creation, into new self, if your inner man is not changed, you have not received the full blessings of the gospel. Number three, seal of the Holy Spirit. Gospel seals us with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 13 and 14 says, When you hear the gospel and believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. Before Jesus was ascended to heaven, he promised the disciples, I will go and send the Holy Spirit who will be with you, help you, guide you, empower you, lead you into all the truth. If you look at the work of the Holy Spirit, you know, Bible very clearly says, the Holy Spirit is a helper, 
and Holy Spirit is the counselor and the Holy Spirit intercedes for us and the most blessed thing is the Holy Spirit leads us into all the truth. Let, let me explain this. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us in walking on the truth. We cannot you know, walk on truth. We cannot be faithful in everything without help of the Holy Spirit. So we as a followers of Christ, we need the Holy Spirit because it is the Holy Spirit who helps us, counsels us, leads us, guides us and helps us to walk in the ways of the Lord. Even after accepting Christ, following Jesus for a long time, if we still don't have this Holy Spirit in us, we have not received the full blessings of the gospel. See, in the New Testament, we see in several places, in Acts chapter 19, we see Apostle Paul in Ephesus. He went to Ephesus and he found the believers there, they accepted the gospel and even taken water baptism, but still they did not have the Holy Spirit in them. So Paul prayed for them and they received the Holy Spirit. Even in Acts chapter 8 verse number 9 onwards, we see Peter and John in Samaria. We see there uh, Philip go, goes and preaches the gospel and they received the gospel and they accepted Jesus, but they did not receive the Holy Spirit. So when Peter placed his hands upon them, they received the Holy Spirit. And in Acts chapter 10, we see when Peter was called to preach the gospel in Cornelius' house, we see while Peter was preaching the gospel, Cornelius household everybody received the Holy Spirit so when we hear the gospel we must receive we must be sealed with the Holy Spirit we must receive the Holy Spirit when we hear the gospel and accepted Jesus if we did not receive the Holy Spirit we have not received the full blessings of the gospel okay. let me repeat the three blessings once again number one Assurance of salvation. Gospel gives us the assurance of salvation. Number two, internal transformation. Gospel transforms our inner man. Number three, seal of the Holy Spirit. Gospel seals us with the Holy Spirit. I believe this message has blessed your heart. May this message find a place in your heart and share this message with the people and people also may be blessed. Heavenly Father, thank you for revealing this truth to us. I pray for everyone who hear this message, O oh God. I pray that everyone may receive the full blessings of the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.